guys. So welcome to our labor and delivery vlog. There's daddy over there. <laughs> so today is my scheduled induction. Um, I'm 39 weeks and two days today. I am very large and in charge. I'll show you guys my belly better once we get to the hospital, but we've got the car seat in the back and all of our bags in the back. I cried literally all, all day yesterday. Um, and I almost cried this morning, but I think I cried enough yesterday where I won't cry too much today, but we'll see. Um, and yeah, so we're on our way to the hospital. My mom's behind us. My mom is coming. Um, I'm able to have two people there for my labor and delivery. So that's really nice. Um, but it has to be like the same two people, but they can come and go as they please, which is really nice too. I thought they would have to stay the whole time, but that's kind of good for them because we live pretty close to the hospital. So Devin will be able to go back to the house if he needs anything. And my mom is going to stay at our house with the dogs. So, yep, we're on our way to the hospital. And this is my first baby, if you guys are new here. So I'll we'll kind of document the process along the way. They haven't checked me at all during, you turn right here. They haven't checked me at all during my pregnancy to see if I'm dilated yet or anything. So um, they'll do that today and I'm excited to see how progressed I am. Hopefully I'm at least a little bit dilated. I think you're 10 centimeters. <laughs> right, yeah. Don't we wish. We're in our room. Devin's over there studying. My mom's here. Hi. We lost her. I was gonna film <laughs> before I got in. Okay, I accidentally turned off the recording. We were gonna, I was gonna film when we were on our way in here, but we lost my mother. She drove past us in the parking lot and then we couldn't find her and then Devin found her when we were checking in. So I'm in the bed. I've got my hospital gown on. They've got me hooked up to my monitors, and I have my IV as well. Um, my nurse is super nice. I really like her, and they checked me for the first time, and I'm only one centimeter dilated, so, and she said I'm still thick. I haven't effaced or thinned out or anything, so they're probably going to put in the balloon, which I'm not super excited about, but I do have my ice water, which I'm really excited about. And it's my ice water in my cup. Do we have to keep that? And I get to eat until I get my Pitocin, which sounds like it's going to be a while. So, Your what? Huh? Your the medicine that they put in to like start contract. Oh, Does it start contraction? It's going to be a day. Yeah, they said that the balloon could know. take 12 to That's 24 hours. Her body yeah. it in. She said I could like my body could kick in and figure it out it's 10 almost 10 15 my <laughs> i was supposed to be here at nine o'clock we were a couple minutes late but they didn't care yeah they didn't care so it's just now 10 15 um and yeah that's the update for now i'll have De i'll have Devin show you the room you want to show them the room i'll have him show you it's my priority today guys oh it's not i'm kidding show over there who's gonna walk in okay yeah so there's the door. It's a pretty good size room. A lot bigger than I thought. There's where she'll go. Right there and right there. There's a little thing. Here's the bathroom. Huh? There's Victoria's hat that she's got a pee to send to the lab. It's a little area. Probably some... Some supply storage right there. The monitor. There's her contractions, I think. Yeah. There's her IV pole. Will you show me for a second? There's a missed attempt at the IV. <laughs> they said that I was. Ha I'm having contractions on the monitor. Yeah. I think there's e there are these little bumps, but I don't know. Yeah, I think so. I'm not a nurse. Hey, look at that. Their IV. <laughs> Here's the goal for the day. Have a baby with as minimal pain as possible and have good blood sugar. If this, is this ours? Or no, that's theirs. I was gonna say, did we get a, we get, do we do get some storage? This is a rocking chair I've been sitting in. This is a little storage area, pillows. This is all our stuff. More storage. 
This is my bed for the next couple days. TV. I should have brought an Xbox or something. <laughs> and there's our view. We have a pretty good view. Could be better, could be worse. Okay, I'm sorry that all of these like clips are of the same angle. But Devin and my mom just went down to the cafeteria to get themselves something to eat. Sorry if you can hear this. Um, I just muted the TV. I'm watching Friends. But, um, guys, I'm cramping so bad. And, well, I think I'm having attractions. Uh, <laughs> it's weird to me because I've never been in labor before. So I just keep thinking, like, oh, I'm just having really bad cramps. No, I'm having contractions. Um, and... I just ordered my lunch and so they have like I'm gestationally diabetic if you guys are new here so that's why I'm being induced I guess I should probably have explained that I'm being induced due to my gestational diabetes I've been on insulin at nighttime for my fasting sugar um, since about 32 weeks and gestational diabetes and the insulin wears out your placenta faster so it's just safer to be induced early um, I'm 39 weeks and two days, so it's not like I'm being induced super early, but I am totally fine with being induced, um, just because I want to do whatever is best for her, um, and I'm ready to be done being pregnant, so, yeah. Anyways, um, they just went to go get food, and... <sighs> I'm like always worried somebody's gonna walk in while I'm filming myself. I had to go to the bathroom and I have that Foley balloon in. Um, and it was so awkward and weird to go to the bathroom. But that part was not fun. Um, I'll just say that. It, it definitely didn't feel good. But I got through that. I got through my cervix check. Those were like two things that I was nervous for. Um, anyways. So I'm just sitting here, I just ordered my lunch. What I was gonna say was, they have like certain things I can have. So like the person on the phone when I ordered my food was telling me like what I could have. And I'm really excited because I'm getting a cheeseburger and a salad, which is pretty normal, like something I could have. And then um, she was like, you can have angel food cake. And I'm just like so excited because I don't normally ever get really to get to eat dessert like that. And I'm able to have it here somehow with the amount of carbs they're letting me have and stuff like that. So I'm really excited <laughs> to have angel food cake. And um, this is just where they tried to get IV and they couldn't. And then I had more blood drawn and I have my IV. <laughs> so anyways, I'm kind of uncomfortable, but I feel okay. Um, yeah, I can't complain, I guess. But I'm just sitting here, just hanging out. I'll update you guys probably when I get my food. I just woke up from a little bit of a nap, kind of. My contractions are seem to be getting a little bit worse. Um, they just feel like really like really intense period cramps and I have really bad period cramps and that's kind of what they feel like they feel a little bit worse than that though um, but anyways my food just got here my room's getting a little bit hot I dropped my remote for my bed which is like for the TV on the floor and I can't get it because Devin and my mom still aren't back from getting food but anyways um, I'll show you guys my lunch because they just brought it okay so I have my Italian dressing I have a side salad. I got, this is my cheeseburger. And I also got mayo in there too. And then there's a little tiny piece of angel food cake, which I'm really excited about. And then um, a Sierra Mist Zero Sugar. So I'm really excited, I'm so hungry. We're eating our last dinner without a baby. They uh, just checked the balloon. The, the foley inside of her. I think you're covering the microphone. I just checked the foley inside of her and it's still sitting in there. So no, it's, it's in place. She was making sure it was in place. That's why I said it's still sitting in there. But that's good. They want it to be in place. Oh, yeah, it's, well, they want it to be in place, but if it falls out, you're dilated. More. Oh, I didn't pick up on that. Yeah. So it's going to be a little while longer. This is what we're working with. Carrie just pooped in the bathroom. <laughs> this is live, by the way. <laughs> Anything so, else? They just barely got my dinner in. 
the doctor came in to check my balloon and she said, okay, start her on Pitocin, which means I'm on a clear liquid diet. Yeah. And I had just ordered my food and they said it was going to be an hour. And then like literally two seconds later, the person walked in from dietary with my food. So she was like, go ahead and eat and then tell me when you're done. Okay, so um, Devin had to turn off the camera because we thought somebody was coming into the room. These contractions are no joke, let me tell you that. Okay, long story short, I'm in pain. The doctor just came in to check, sorry. Doctor just came in to check my Foley balloon to make sure it was still in place and it was. And um, when she was leaving, someone else was about to deliver so she had to go. But she told my nurse that um, to go ahead and start Pitocin. And once I start Pitocin, I can't eat. So I can't, I'm on a clear liquid diet, so I can stop some stuff. But um, I had already ordered my food and it was supposed to take an hour while it came in, like literally the next second. So she was like, go ahead and eat and then call me when you're done. I don't order the Pitocin. So I'm trying to finish my food right now, which is this pasta and then they're gonna come in and start Pitocin, which oh, my cramps are, get, or my contractions are getting worse. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to update you guys. My dad and, my dad, Devin and my mom just left to go let the dogs out and feed them and then they're gonna grab food on the way back. Um, and I'm so hot, you guys. If I wish I would have brought one thing, it's a fan, like a little fan. Because I'm seriously like sweating. Okay. Anyways, just wanted to update you guys. I'll come back in a little bit. I'm propping you guys up on the water bottle. This is not my best angle, but I don't really care at this point. Um, I just thought I'd check in. It's been a little bit since they started my Pitocin. It hasn't been that long, but my contractions are starting to get much more intense. And I just thought I would kind of describe what I feel like they feel like because I always wondered what con contractions felt like, <laughs> like before I ever got pregnant or whatever. And I'm about to have one right now, I think. Okay, I'm having one. Um, they feel like the most intense period cramps you've ever had. Like, times, I don't know, five? I don't know, times ten. good news is, is I love my nurse and I've loved the doctors I've seen today and the nurse that I had for my version procedure is the nurse I'm gonna have tonight because I requested her so I'm really happy about that too so I've had great people so far um, but man labor is no joke I still haven't decided if I'm gonna get the epidural or not um, I'm not against getting one. I just kind of wanted to see how long I could make it without one. I'm not saying I'm not in pain. I'm in a lot of pain. But I kind of feel like I can do it. I mean, I know I can do it. But do I want to do it? That's the question. So anyways, Devin and my mom are still gone. Um, I'm super hot still. And this bed is just like uncomfortable. Um... I can't even believe I brought my own blanket because what the heck do I need my own blanket for? I'm burning up. <sighs> Anyways, I just can't believe that she's going to be in that little bed right there. Like, in no time. We got here at 9 o'clock. It's now 5.45. And it feels like it hasn't been that long. Like, it seems to have gone by pretty quickly, so I'm happy about that, but anyways, I'll check it with you guys. Later. Hello, everybody. It's been quite a while since I picked up the camera. It is 
almost 6.10 in the morning. Um, it's been definitely a long time since I've filmed. A lot has happened since I last filmed. Um, <clears throat> so I didn't update for a long time because I was just on Pitocin. Um, I don't know if I told you guys that last, but I was on Pitocin and oh, they took the balloon out and it had only dilated me to a two, which I was at a one when I got here. So that was kind of disappointing. I went through that and it only dilated me one centimeter, but that's okay. So then they started me on Pitocin and um, I just kind of like was having worse and worse contractions. And then <clears throat> eventually she came in and checked me and it, this was like an hour and a half ago. So it was maybe like 4.30 or 5. She came in to check me and I was at a 4. And um, then she asked me if, she, if I wanted her to break my water. So I said yes. And she broke my water and it was the weirdest thing ever. Because it almost felt like a relief. And so much came out of me. And then I just went to the bathroom like right before I just got my epidural. And so much more came out when I stood up because I went to the bathroom right before, so. Um, anyways, breaking my water did not hurt. If you guys are curious, that did not hurt. It actually felt kind of good, like, to have the release of pressure. And then, um, after she broke my water, my contractions started getting a lot worse. And I was, I had decided at that point that I wanted the epidural, so. I was trying to hold out as long as I could, but you guys, I feel so good. I feel so relaxed right now. I just got it. It didn't hurt. Um, needles don't really bother me that much though. I was having contractions while he was doing it. That's what hurt the worst. But um, they've kind of had me moving back and forth like to different sides because she, her heart rate was kind of like, cause her head was like, like they said her head like was getting really low. So um, it was just like pressure on her and so her heart rate was kind of dropping at the beginning of my contractions but they said everything looks good now so I was like flipping from side to side but anyways um so I just got my epidural and I feel really good my body feels like warm and tingly um I feel really relaxed I'm still feeling like a tiny bit of cramping with each contraction but like nothing crazy um but I literally just got it so um that's the update Devin is over here he woke up Say hi, Devin. What? He slept through everything last night. Um, they were in all night coming in and out of my room checking my blood pressure and everything like that. So, um, yeah. My mom stayed at our house last night with the dogs. So she's on her way back right now. She's going to get her and Devin some breakfast. And um, looks like we'll be having this baby. I think, what do you think, Devin? I would think like before lunchtime she'll come. I think that's what my kid. That's what she said? Not before lunchtime, but she said today. Yeah, and definitely last today. Night she said last night. Or last night she said tonight, but today she said today. I'm thinking, I'm guessing before lunchtime. Oh, oh, you didn't hear this. I asked her if she thinks we'll be here tonight, and she said she thinks we'll be here until late afternoon. So if that tells you anything. Okay. Then we'll go to postpartum. Then we'll go to postpartum, yeah. So hopefully, like, lunchtime we'll have her. That's what I'm hoping. But that's the update for now. And then when she gets here, then we can sleep on her. <laughs> okay guys well when my mom gets here I'll update you guys so I'm just chilling I feel really really good get the epidural if you're on the fence about getting the epidural just do the do the epidural I'm telling you what that was the best decision I've made all day okay <laughs> I, I couldn't believe I said not I know okay guys it's nine almost 9 40 and i have the shakes i'm shaking pretty bad um they just came and checked me and i'm nine centimeters um dilated so they said in about 15 minutes they're gonna come in and do you think that's when i'll start pushing mom huh? when they come back in yeah. yeah so they just came in and like talked to me about pushing and everything and um sorry the camera's shaking um so anyways, they told me I could film, so I'm really excited, and someone's going to take pictures for us, so <sighs> we're about to meet her. I'm nervous, but I don't, I don't really feel anything, just pressure, so 
Anyways, it's about time to push. So it is the next day. Today is Wednesday and it's about 4.15. Um, Charlotte is here. I didn't get to film her actual birth because they were gonna let me film everything and then there was like tons of people in the room and just like last second I told the nurse to tell me like when I was pushing like how Okay, I had to turn down the volume on the TV. Um, I told the nurse to tell me like when I was really close to her coming out and then I would start recording, but it just got like really intense really fast and like we were just like excited. I had a really good experience pushing actually and um, I didn't get to get it, but I do have some pictures of right after she was born and like a video of her first cry. So I will put those in here somehow. Um, but the nurse has her right now. She's doing some labs across the hall. I think she's getting like her bilirubin test and things like that. But man, I definitely need to film a birth story because I have so much to tell you guys about. Overall, it went pretty well. Um, postpartum has been okay so far. I'm only one day postpartum, so I did have a second degree tear. Um, so that's been a little bit of a struggle. Just being comfortable and having to take care of like everything going on down there but um, overall I, th I feel like I feel pretty good I did get an epidural so um, my lower back kind of hurts but yeah so we're we are now I haven't filmed anything else because honestly it's been so crazy if you have a baby you know like especially as a first-time mom how overwhelming everything is like right after with breastfeeding and everything like that um, and yeah, so I just haven't picked up the camera or really been on my phone very much. I did post some stuff on Instagram, like pictures, but I just took my first shower. Um, and I've been here since Monday morning. Um, I was in labor for 30 hours and I pushed for an hour and a half, which the pushing really didn't seem like it took that long. It went by pretty quickly um, and I had a great experience pushing. The nurses and the team with me that were like helping me push were so supportive. They were amazing and I had a really good experience with that. So I'm really happy about that. But I'll pick up the camera back when the nurse brings Charlotte back in here so I can show you guys what she looks like and everything if you don't follow me on Instagram. But yeah, I just took a shower. Like I said, my first shower since getting to the hospital. I honestly, if I'm being real, just brushed my teeth for the first time since getting to the hospital. Um, but dad is over there. He's been so good with me, like, in Charlotte. And I'm so grateful I had him here. I also had my mom here when I was giving birth, obviously. And she was super great, too. I was so happy I had her here. And um, he's just been, Devin's been so helpful. And so he's been letting me rest, like, all the time. So I, when they took her, he was like, I'm gonna go lay down. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go take a shower. So I feel much better, <laughs> much more human now that I took a shower. I have my robe on and this is just like a nursing gown. Nursing is going okay. Um, I just today got her to nurse really well for the first time and I'm using a nipple shield. Um, we've had some issues with her blood sugar being low. You guys know I had gestational diabetes, so that's been kind of a thing. Um, 
so that's been really a little bit stressful because she almost had to go to the NICU but her blood sugars finally started to be a little bit better so um, we'll see what the nurse says when she brings her back in but I'm gonna rest for a few minutes before she brings her back and then I'll pick up the camera when Charlotte gets back into our room My little swaddled up little burrito baby. She's so cute with that passy. She's sleeping. She still hasn't had her first bath yet because her blood sugars were low. Something about warming her up in the water, I don't know. They couldn't give her a bath yet, so um, she still has like her vernix on her, which I know it's really good for them, so whatever, but she also loves to have her hands up by her face, which is really cute because she always had that in her ultrasounds, like her hands were always up by her face, and she's got her little pacifier, but she's sleeping, so they just brought her back, everything looked good, her blood sugar looked good, which is good, that's like three in a row that have been good, so I'm really happy about that. Um, I just love her so much. And I was on the phone with my aunt right before they brought her back in. And I was just thinking about her and I was like, I miss her. She was only across the hall for like 30 minutes, but look at this little bean. So cute. So yeah, we're just hanging out, I guess. We'll be able to go home tomorrow, I hope. I mean, for sure, tomorrow, but they mentioned us going home today, but I don't think that's happening, which is fine. I just miss my bed. <clears throat> I haven't gotten much sleep at all since I've been here Monday morning, so I just could stare at her forever. Sweet little baby girl. And those noises. Look at this sweet baby girl. Ow, I just stubbed, stubbed my toe. This sweet baby girl with her passy. I love you. You are so cute. Hi guys. So, it is the next day. I got little Missy girl right here. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. Hopefully the TV's not too loud. Um, she's just kind of chilling. She's awake. But Devin just left to go to let the dogs out. I'm going to see if I can set you guys down. Hold on. Okay. Now you guys can see me a little bit better. Oh, yeah. This is a weird angle here. But... Kevin just left to go take the dogs out and give them breakfast and stuff. Um, but we had a little bit of a rough night last night and afternoon. That's why I didn't film because I didn't want to cry. Um, I can go, I think I'll go into this more like when I film her birth story. But basically, we were having issues with her blood sugar like I mentioned. I think I mentioned that earlier. Um, due to my gestational diabetes, but I know babies can still have low blood sugar when they come out anyway But they couldn't get her blood sugar up And so we've been like supplementing with formula to try to get it up. They were doing like a glucose gel Nothing was working and her sugar got pretty low And they had a NICU doctor come in and I kind of like lost my cool because Like my emotions like I like lost it emotionally Because I'm just I was just so upset and um, we've already been here since Monday. Today's Thursday and I'm just so ready to go home. And you know, I've had such a long pregnancy, like not a long pregnancy, but like such a emotionally straining pregnancy with my diabetes and different things with her being breached and all these things. So when she came out, I just didn't expect it to keep going with the blood sugar thing. And so it's just been really hard for me. Um, and especially like when you have your baby, you want them to be okay. So it was just really hard for me, but 
we have really good news because um, all of a sudden last night she her body just got it together and she um, her blood sugar went up so she had three good blood sugars in a row and so we're able to get discharged today so I'm really happy and uh, we finally get to go home to the boys so we're excited she has literally not worn clothes yet except for one little kimono shirt with mittens that the hospital provided because oh. okay I turned the camera off because they brought my breakfast in which I'm so starving so I'm gonna wrap this up here quickly but I think I'm gonna end the um, labor and delivery vlog here because I want to film us taking her home to the dogs and she is just so freaking cute you guys I feel pretty good um, I'm just sore and like I think it's setting in today like with my body I'm now like two days postpartum so anyways we've got this little burrito right here okay I'm really trying to finish up this video here but people keep coming in the room and I have to stop recording but um, I'm sitting you guys on my my food tray here but I have baby here Devin just called me and they are him and the dogs um are just hanging out at the house the dogs are going nuts i know they're gonna be crazy when we get home because they know what's going on um but i'm gonna go ahead and cut this vlog here <clears throat> um thank you for watching my labor and delivery vlog i would have loved to get more of me like actually pushing but i do have those few pictures in the video of her crying and i'm totally fine with that but hopefully hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um let me know if you guys had a similar experience to me in the comments down below and um, I can't wait to share more of my motherhood journey with you guys so thank you so much for watching I hope you'll subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video bye say bye to the newest little member <laughs> chunky girl